All right, how's it going, everyone? I am recording my first impressions, I guess you could say, for Middle Earth: Shadow of Mordor, which is the new game that released today. One of the new games that released today, uh, from the developers of Monolith, who uh, they brought us the Fear series. And uh, the first Fear was absolutely tre tremendous. Second Fear was okay. Third one was eh. So, but the first Fear, I remember because I, I bought it on Steam, right? And uh, I played the first Fear, I was like, this game's freaking incredible. So, and then uh, the other ones that just came after it were okay. So, here, let me refresh this. People have been playing this game. It's the big thing that everyone's playing right now, which is pretty cool. So, alright. I guess we can go ahead and start it. I did uh, download my DLC just to show you guys. Here's all the DLC I got for the game. The Hidden Blade Rune, Captain of the Watch character skin, Fleshburner's Warband, Hunter's... Blood Hunters Warband, the Dark Ranger character skin, Test of Powers. All right, so those are all my DLC that have been installed. Pretty good. Let's go ahead and start it. So, there's always an update file. Monolith. This thing's pretty loud. Alright, here we go. Press X. Ooh, look at that. You can see the wraith. It's pretty cool. Alright, press X to continue. Our brightness. Adjust the gamma until you can see, barely see the icon in both boxes. I can barely see the icon now, so I think we're good. Yeah. I think I'll probably adjust that when I go back to HDMI on my without when I'm not recording it, but cool. All right, here's our main screen. Let's go to the options. Make sure everything is good. Home theater. I'm gonna change that to. Well, I guess that's default, so that's fine. Oh, wireless speaker volume. Hold on. Turn that up all the way. Is that even up all the way on here? Hold on. Damn it, wrong one. Yeah, that's up. Okay. Apply. Video. Gamma. Display area. We're good. Our gamma set. Oh, we do have our subtitles. Our captions, as they want to call it. Okay. Game settings. Good. Controller mapping. Here's our controls, but I'm sure they're going to teach us, so. Alright, let's go to... What's this WB play? I do have a WB account. Nice! It worked! You unlocked the exclusive Ort Hunter Rune if you entered the wrong email address. Alright, cool! I got that right. Gameplay recording has zoomed because you exited the blog. Whatever. Alright, so that's pretty cool. I... I remembered that. Alright, play. Let's just go ahead. We have changed oh, immediately. Hold on. Captain of the Watch. Which one looks better? We have our normal Italian skin. Captain of the Watch. Looks pretty cool. Dark Ranger. And this is Assassin's Creed. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go with Dark Ranger skin. That looks, look, look, this looks exactly like Assassin's Creed. That's good. <laughs> Alright. Story mode. I guess let's just do this. <laughs> That's funny. A hood, just like Assassin's Creed. Look at the beautiful pre-rendered cutscene here. Actually, I think this is in-game. Look at the anti-aliasing. I think this is in-game. Yeah. 
Shadows return to Mordor. Shadow and flame have fallen on the Black Gate. And no mortal man can stand in its path. Chicken killer. Chicken killer. All right, let's kill our son in the process as an accident. Triangle counter. Nice. Oh. Boom. Oh wow! <laughs> Let's kill him. Easy, son. I'm not a soldier yet. Okay, he turned into an orc. Dude, look at these rain effects. That's nice. Ooh. Oh wow, this sounds pretty good. This sun is pretty good, that's nice. Dude, these red effects are really nice. Hold R2 and tap square for ground execution. Ooh! Hold X to sprint. Hold, wait, hold R1? Okay, yeah. Squares the shank. Hold R2 and tap square to down, all right. Dude, these rain effects are pretty nice. Look at this. This is nice. I will not go down. I'm just pressing square. What happened? Did he kill? He got killed. Dude, these rain effects are sick. These orcs are much stronger than any we've ever seen. They're not orcs, they're orcs. They're far worse. There's too many. Go find your mother. Go find your mother. Keep her safe. I'll be right behind you. Go. Nice tessellation on his beard. And on his rope, his little kid, his little cape here. Am I dead? You are banished from death. That's his wife. Dude, these graphics are really nice. They did a good job. Look at that, he has dynamic cloth on his cape, which is pretty cool. Hold R2 for stealth. 
I got her. Oh shit, stealth segment. Hold out R2 for stealth while I'm still press square to kill, okay? Don't want to be seen. This is brutal. This is brutal, man. Oh, look, it's Nolan North. Dude, that's hard. That, that's that's hardcore. What is this place? See for yourself. <laughs> now, do you believe me, Ranger? What has happened to me? I hope that your skin actually appears in cutscenes. That'd be pretty cool, cause I mean, if you're wearing like that that um that dark ranger skin or whatever I selected, but it doesn't appear in cutscenes. I mean, I, I just wish that would happen, but I mean, right, right now we're not wearing the skin, so I don't know. This 
looks familiar. Talion killed a nobleman, Yorith. His life now belongs to Gondor. Father, if you turn my love in, I shall swear I killed Lord Asgon when he attacked me. We shall both sacrifice our lives to Gondor. <laughs> well, there's a big weight system right now for the game. Whoa. Whoa. Nice, and we have the... We have um we have the Dark Ranger skin. Look at this. Dude, that, that looks sick. He looks sick right now. Hold L2 to enter rage mode. Aha. Uh -huh. Boom. Boom. Ooh. Dude, he looks sick with this cape on. I like this this skin. It looks awesome. What the hell's that? Ooh. Hold R1 to grab and X to interrogate. Gain intel. What do you know of the black hand of Sauron? He is a fiend. Might of thin air. What more? A slave I had swears he fought him. I sold him for a keg of grog to Gimu the slaver. Jeez. These are the captains of Sauron's army. They appear as shadows because you do not yet know their identity. Okay. By interrogating enemies, you can uncover valuable information about these captains. Press X to learn the identity of a captain. All right, you have learned that Gim Gimmoob's identity. You've you have learned Gimmoob's. I, I I can't pronounce these names. Excuse me. I'm gonna butcher them all night long because I just I just I don't know the lore and stuff. So this is to help you hunt him down. His title enslaver gives you clues about his role in the Uruk society. Okay, you have also learned his power rating. This gives you an identification of how difficult he will be to defeat. The power rating also determines your rewards for defeating him. Re rewards include runes to upgrade your your weapons, increasing your own power to unlock new abilities. Okay. Map is located where he is. Push X to mark my target. Mark. Dude, these visual okay so we know that his i guess his outfit doesn't actually transfer it into the cutscenes unfortunately but still he looks pretty nice with this cape on gold icons advance the story red icons display power struggles where uruks compete for status white represents side missions and collectibles all right you have two available missions the slaver and spirit of mordor okay so basically nice basically we are off to do whatever we want to do Dude, they used the freaking. The, they used the speaker on this thing for everything. Like when I walk through the, the trees, this thing goes like. Listen to this. <laughs> they, they used this sound for everything. These graphics are really nice, man. Alright, so let's pull up our map here. Do some side missions. Actually, no. There's a 
There's a forge tower over there that we can try to get, alright? We'll do the forge tower. Can we jump off? Is there a fall damage? I don't think so. No, there is not. Yes. I cannot get over these visuals, man. The game looks fantastic. Can I run up walls? You can climb, which is pretty nice. Sweet. We'll climb this. Nice. Another tower unlocked. Pretty cool. You can also advance time in the world by highlighting and... You can also advance time in the world by highlighting an unlocked forge and pressing triangle. Will resolve power struggles. Okay. So we can fast forward through time if we don't want to, I guess, wait. Where do we go from here? I think what we should do is like unlock all the towers. That seems that seems it's pretty smart. That thing's a thousand feet away. Oh. <laughs> Not much for stealth, but okay. Oh, he saved the human. Unlock ability, really. Earn XP to gain ability points and unlock powerful new abilities. Play power struggles to earn power more quickly. Okay. We unlocked execution. When your hit streak is charged, press triangle and circle to execute your target. Stronghold we're in right now, so. We can just cut through here. Run! Run! Kill this guy from above. Can we do that? I think we have to unlock that ability. Oh, hold on. No. <laughs> Throw him off. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I, I love the dynamic cloth on, you know, his cape and stuff. It looks really awesome. I'm just passing through. I'll take care of these guys later. It. It's over here. Do it. Why not get some combat? Hello. Dude, this thing is this is so brutal. I love the combat. Pretty good. That that's pretty cool. You know the combat. The combat's really nice. It's really responsive too. This camera's a little bit wobbly though. That's what I don't like. Let's see if we can stealth kill this guy. Boom. 
they really did a nice job with the visuals. It looks really nice. I mean, look look at the quality right there on this guy. If you crouch down, I, I don't know how close I can get the camera, though. But the quality on, like, you can see the skin textures and stuff. It looks really, really nice. What is this? I for it's a stealth or, or a side mission. Flame size was less than the surface show would see. Kill five arrows with arrows at close range. I got like all these people on me right now. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's like a real, a real, real high, um, level guy. I'm taking down this guy, he just has a lot of life. And he has like these his little helpers and stuff, which makes it a distraction. How many people are they gonna spawn, man? Ooh, I tackled him! Nice! I have, I need more, uh, dude, how many people, seriously, like, how much are you gonna throw at me? Nice, I did the mission. <laughs> I did the mission like last second. Alright, mission complete. Maybe that's why they're spawning so many enemies. Weapon upgrades. Yeah, the, the rune. Ooh. You have enough to purchase a weapon upgrade, M. 
Our weapon upgrades are with the runes. Hold on. Counter and counter attacks will be knocked backwards, stunned or knocked down. Okay, yeah, sure. Better, better counter. Test it on this guy. Oh yeah, he got stunned. I want to go collect my rune. Hold on. Really? Oh, I'm dead. They didn't even give me a chance. That was Gimu? Are you serious? Out of all people, that was Gimu. I don't even know who that guy was. Out of every one of those guys, that was Gimu. Of course. Hirox to kill challenging captains for... Okay, so we know that he got promoted. We don't know who that guy is, but he got promoted too. Alright guys, well... We return to the game here. Here we are. It's actually raining. There's dynamic weather, I guess, which is even better. Look at these rain effects, man. Look, the game just looks really nice. So I'm going to end the impressions here, guys. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. And uh, stick around. I'll have more Miller Shadow Mortar footage coming. And uh, Forza Horizon 2. All right, guys. Thanks, and have a good day.